Welcome back to Run Pet Bath and Beauty's Kitchen. As promised, um, we are now making, uh, on Tuesday I made the women's version of this shaving soap. This is the men's version, and I'm going to say again that I have bronchitis coming on, I'm having a respiratory issue, so my breathing is a little weird, so I apologize. But anyway, this is Sharp Dressed Man. It is scented in a, the scent is a dupe of uh, Justin Timberlake suit and tie and the oils are dark like this because there is a tablespoon of bentonite clay in here There's also heavy cream and I put my honey in there because we're getting ready for the honey festival. So my lye water is aloe vera juice. Oh, where are my spatulas? There it is. It's aloe vera juice, sodium hydroxide, and salt. I almost said sugar. We're not putting sugar in um, most of the soaps coming up because like I said we're preparing for the the honey festival that we're gonna do this year and this um, fragrance is a ricer so I'm gonna add it to my oils um, when I blend my uh, lion and because this well let me tell let me do this really quick and when we're mix, mixing the colors we'll I'll tell you Okay, I got to put my yogurt in there. I should put my yogurt in there too. And if you didn't watch last week's video, this is the yogurt I make. So exciting. Okay. Okay, this is already starting to heat up on me. This fragrance heats up too. So I want to get this in there. But what I was going to say is with shaving soaps, I only in this 25. Uh, ounces of oils I only use 0.4 ounces of of fragrance because it's particularly with the men's one we don't want that uh, heavy fragrance on their face and we certainly don't want it to irritate their skin so that's why I, I don't use very much they're very lightly scented and I swirl this with some activated charcoal like uh, Tuesday, I swirled the women's with some rose kaolin clay. So we're gonna drop this in there. These are pretty fast soaps. <laughs> okay, let me do a little swirl in there, which I don't ordinarily do with in the pod swirls. Okay, so like Tuesday, I used a two and a quarter PVC pipe. Uh, under the cap, there is some freezer paper, and I line it with these flexible cutting boards that you can get at the dollar store. I'm gonna bring this angle up like I did on Tuesday so you can see me pour. Okay, oh, this is thinner than my love spell was isn't that strange wow if you watch the videos that i made or that were posted earlier this year that was this was plopping in here <laughs> it's because the man eater i did on tuesday which technically is the same night um, my oils were really really hot and it wasn't enough for my that my lye was at room temperature and then my yogurt just came out of the fridge. Okay, I'm gonna, just like I did before, I'm gonna tap this on the floor. Oh, wait, goggles. Goggles. Okay, let's see, okay. Let me bring the camera over, to, over here. See, got pretty little stuff. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to make anybody sick. Okay, so this usually, um, this can sit 10 to 12 hours and I can unmold it. But like I said on Tuesday, <laughs> um, I'm going to leave it till tomorrow evening. So, because I've been working more in the evening lately. But thanks guys for uh, watching and I hope you don't mind the repeat videos. If you, if you really don't want to see me repeat videos, please be honest, tell me and I won't. But if you don't mind, then great. So I will talk to you guys, um, I think, on next Tuesday. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.
let me take that back. I'm going to be back next evening to cut it. All right, see you later. Okay, guys, we're back to cut Sharp Dress Man shaving soap. I got to get an end piece off of here. And as you might have noticed, I changed the batteries in my mic. I know I said it a few soaps ago that um, I didn't realize until I had started editing videos that the battery in my mic was getting low, so I changed it. Now I cut these at an inch and a quarter. That way, put my glasses on. That way they are, you know, they get plenty of soap to use. I really love the way these swirls turn out. They really are nice. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at that swirl. Very, very nice. And they, gosh, I love the way Sharp Dress Man smells. It was really weird that this one didn't heat up, or didn't, it, well, it heated up, but it didn't uh, speed up the way it usually does. Ugh. There we go. There we go. So it's pretty much going to be the, the same way all the way through, you guys. I mean... Yeah, they look enough different, but not terribly different. I only have a few more to cut. Get my uh, paper towel out of your way. <laughs> that would be helpful, Sulin. You're like, woman, move that thing. I can't see. Okay. I like the way that some of these turned out on the side. They look really, really cool. Okay, I just got soap underneath my fingernail. Have you any of you soapers ever done that before? <sighs> Where you're in like nail jabs underneath a soap? I usually keep my nails quite short for that reason. I haven't cut them in a in a few. Because I definitely I'm not one of those people that goes to get their nails done. I'm just not that person. He used to be that person, but that was a long time ago. So, okay. One more. Oh, I may just be able to get a little edge off on this one, and that's it. Well, maybe not. Okay, that's going to have to be planed. I just made a big mess of that. Look at that. Dang it. All right. Yep. So that's it guys. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye bye.